Hello everyone, this is the V-Man and welcome! New week started and we are back in group 4 RCZ, very fast car with the front wheel drive. And before this race I'm showing to you, I had 3 or 4 races and on 4th race I think my internet went down and while I wasn't aware what was happening, something terribly wrong was happening on the race itself, but everything seemed okay what I was looking at and the game recorded that and on the next race my DR went 5000 points down and my SR was almost on A so next four races I was racing in very bad lobbies I started first every time I finished first every time and this is now eighth or ninth race I was doing on a Laguna Seca so this is the reason why we immediately went into the race. I started, I think, sixth here. Now I'm on a fifth position. Something happened with the guy on the start of the race. So we are going uphill towards the legendary corkscrew. Belgium guy is behind me on the brakes here and he crashed into me. I went off the track. I tried to recover, but I couldn't do that fast enough. So I went down on a ninth position and my tires are now terribly dirty, of course, a lot of sand. And I'm trying to, you know, establish my pace here to calm down. But no, I was overdriving the car and going into the last corner, I braked late and almost spun out. So I lost a couple more positions. So this ninth race uh, start of it was a disaster. I am dead last after just first lap but okay I'm not going to rage quit we will continue to race so this is the second lap I was driving behind a British guy in an Audi in front of me so end of the second lap something happened there I don't don't know what this is Dutch guy he was slow so I was trying on the right on the outside but he was blocking me never mind that so I will still try into the first corner of the third lap trying to recover after that uh, situation where I was pushed by a Belgium guy here I, I had a moment with the Dutch guy but everything went well in front of me a couple of guys have penalties so they will serve that and hopefully I will go up in positions I am constantly hovering somewhere around 46, 47 thousand points. I said already in the previous video, I am not going to promise you anything anymore because I said that uh, I will go back to the A plus rating last week, but I didn't do that, so I'm not going to promise you anything anymore. I will let you know when that happened. Corkscrew once again, third lap, British guy and the German guy were battling. I was trying to exploit that situation, but no, luckily British guy received 0.5 seconds penalty. So this is the opportunity for me to go one more position up. End of the third lap and the British guy did something, I don't know what. He went off the track, he pro probably missed his breaking point. So I was following now German guy in front of me. This is the fourth lap and we're going to skip at the end of the fourth lap he went wide here I in the meantime received 0.5 second penalty I think that happened in a corkscrew I, I've i cut the corner too much and I had a, another moment with a German guy this time with the German guy but that's okay you know normal thing in GT Sport normal thing in racing so I went wide here And I now have uh, this penalty to serve. Dutch guy behind me is coming close. I need to be careful when I serve the penalty. So fifth and the final lap. I'm on a 13th position. I recovered two positions. And let's see if I'm going to finish this race on this position. So Dutch guy came really close because I served the penalty. Going once again uphill towards the corkscrew. He's coming really close. He's in my slipstream. 
on the brakes here. She came really really close, almost smashed into me, but thankfully that didn't happen. I went to the corkscrew nicely this time and I built a small gap. German guy has a moment in front of me. He was going off the track. Last corner of the fifth lap on the brakes and he went wide once again. So I'm going on the inside on the throttle. Better exit. We had a contact but nothing wrong with that and I'm going to finish on a 12th position. So after all not a bad race. Interesting race. Let's go into the next one. Second race in this video but something like ninth race I was doing the, the other day or yesterday. I started sixth here. In front of me is a Hungarian guy and behind me is a Spanish guy. Once again something happened with the driver on the beginning of the race so I immediately went one position up. I was thinking of doing a FIA Nations race but I think that uh, RCZ was also the car for that race and I told you a couple of times before I don't really like uh, cars with the front wheel drive so I decided to do daily race B you know four or five laps it's a whole different story than to drive 14 or 15 laps in a FIA Nations race and that race would probably end in a disaster for me so this is one more reason why I decided to do daily race B Hungarian guy had a contact with a guy in front of him so that guy now is behind me I think this is Indian flag so fourth position and I've set a fastest lap time in the second lap so this is third third lap going into the course crew once again And I went too deep here and this is the moment when I thought that he has got the penalty because of me. And because of some reason I decided to let him go through. So at that moment it seemed logical to me to let him go through. Now that I am looking the situation after the race I don't think that was the wise move but what can I do at the moment it seems logical to me to let him go through so I am on a fifth position he is in front of me with a penalty maybe I can overtake him on a track itself we will see behind me is a Spanish guy he is uh, almost second behind me fourth lap I was trying to go on the inside then I changed my mind I braked late and the Spanish guy came really really close to me now I couldn't decide whether to attack a guy in front of me or not and Spanish guy took advantage of that so now he's really close and we have entire fifth lap to race to drive and also to finish this fourth Lobby puts me to the 8th place by strength, I'm on a 5th position so I'm gaining points. Guy on a 4th place had a moment. Long straight in front of us, I will use slipstream but also Spanish guy will use slipstream. So I will probably drive defensively a bit here, just in case on the brakes into the first corner of the fifth and the final lap three cars very close I'm coming close to the guy in front of me looking for opportunity trying to build my position to attack him Spanish guy is also looking for his opportunity I had a better exit here I'm going on the outside on the brakes no now I'm trying on the inside, Spanish guy is now really really close.
uphill towards the corkscrew. Spanish guy is really close on the brakes here. He went in front of me for a moment, but he made a mistake. He missed his braking point, so this is the reason why he was in front of me for a moment. But then he went off the track, so that was it. Now I am, you know, safe. So I will finish this second race on a fifth position. Maybe I would finish on a fourth if I didn't let the guy to go through, guy who is now in front of me. But that is history already. So fifth, fifth position for me, gaining points and let's go into the third and the final race of the video. I will start on a 7th position here. On this race I had a clash with the Spanish guy who is behind me, the same guy from the previous race. We had a couple of situations, uh, you can be the judge what happened and who is in the wrong or whose fault it was. So I will let you know when that situation is about to happen. So on the seventh position, first corner, everything is going well. I established my pace after almost 10 races. Immediately guys were battling in front of me. I think it's a Norwegian guy with a Hungarian. I had a really good exit here, so I'm trying on the outside but no space for me to do anything so I need to lift off here I'm very close now I'm going on the inside look at these four cars almost side by side and I am on a full brakes here and the Spanish guy bumped into me and he lost one position so now French guy is behind me in a Subaru I think he is the only guy who was using different car than a RCZ so 6th position for me, first lap is about to end, couple of more corners. As I was saying, keep an eye on a Spanish guy, who is now on 8th position. First lap is about to end, we are going over the start finish straight into the second lap. So far so good, I'm satisfied with this 6th position. I was constantly pressuring Hungarian guy in front of me, but he was consistent. I wasn't able to come close to him and to attack him. He kept me on the distance the whole time. I was close, but I couldn't do anything. Still keeping that pressure and going into the next corner, he went wide. I took advantage of that. I was trying on the inside, but no, he had a really good run through the corner on the outside. So we exchanged positions for a second. Now I'm trying again on the outside into the corner. Spanish guy, guy is now having a look, he bumped into me, he almost pushed me off the track but I was uh, able to control the car. So we are going into the fourth lap now, so again Spanish guy is really close, he was almost 2 seconds behind me at some moment and now he is attacking me so I need to defend. So I'm still pressuring Hungarian guy, now Spanish guy is pressuring me. I need to be very careful, need to stay focused. I made a mistake, I wasn't focused enough, obviously. Spanish guy is breathing down my neck, Hungarian guy is building a gap, slowly but surely. Spanish guy is now in front of me, 
you saw that he was a bit aggressive but I made a mistake going into the last corner of the fourth lap I went wide so he jumped right on the inside took advantage of that and now we are going side by side and this is the situation I was talking about on the start of the race look at this now I'm on his right side I had a better exit going into the corner here and he bumped into me look at this he bumped into me and went off the track you can be judge of the situation Le let's look that again so we are going side by side here I'm in a better position going into the corner and I think he cut in cuts in front of me and bumped into me of course he wasn't satisfied with that he was flashing me and he had a couple of really kind words for me after the race he said that I really suck playing this game and that I should uh, practice some more offline but as I said you can be the judge of that and you can tell me in the comments what do you think about that situation so I will finish sixth here so that was it if you like this video click the like button if you would like to watch or to listen some more do subscribe turn notifications on I will try to upload three videos per week that's the plan at least you can also check out my Facebook page the link is in the description so thanks for watching have a great day see you next time the B-Man is out